Hi guys, Ronnie Grayer here, and today I'm going to do a video with my new feather. Uh, I've got a different feather today. I've got the Feather Artist Club, I guess it's called Artist Club, but with the wood uh, scales, which are much, much heavier. I recently got this from Dave for Nicola, and although we've seen these with the wood scales, most people have only seen them in the teak wood, uh, which is a brown, and this is black, which seems to be hard to find. So thanks to Dave for that. Now this also is different than my other feather, which I did a video with before. This is the Feather Artist Club SS folding style. And you can see that it's got this bevel in there, the rounded part, um, down where the blade comes in. Uh, and that, I guess, makes uh, how the blade contacts your face makes that a little different. Paul Bambino just did a video comparing this style with the style that I have here, which you can see is smooth. Also, there's some writing on there, and it says SUS316. So I don't know. Also, um, Dave sent me some Super Pro blades, which I've not used before. So this is going to be a different shave for sure. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that. Also, you can see show you that. And Paul did the same thing. So I'll show you the difference here. That um, is what the feather looks like at the front. I'm having a hard time holding this thing steady. And that's not helping at all. Okay, there you can see the kind of the wedge looking thing. And there's the other one. And so they look a little different. But, you know, I don't really know the differences. So if you do, feel free to chime in. Like I said, uh, the big difference here with this, with the wood scales, is that it's got a much heavier weight to it, um, which really is like a straight razor. Of course, this thing was not cheap. They run for about $300 or so. I paid a little less than that. Obviously, this isn't brand new. But it's really nice to look at. It's really classy. Um, and again, the whole idea with these feathers is that they really approximate a straight without all of the maintenance and time issues that some people want to be bothered with. And in my experience, um, you're going to get a closer shave uh, in less passes with less work because the blade is just super sharp. And with a regular straight, it's more about beard reduction. So having said that, I'm going to go ahead and get my shave going in just a second. Let me talk about what I've got here today. First of all, we talked about these Feather Super Pro Blades. Um, and you can also use a blade called Kai in these uh, feather razors. I've got the, they make four blades. They make the Super, they make the Professional, which I've used in previous videos, and I've used them only up to now, never used a Super. They make a, a light uh, Professional blade, which um, has less blade exposure, and I didn't care for that. But, of course, I was still learning to use the razors, so I might go back and revisit those. Then they make a, a blade called the guarded blade or guard, and it's got kind of a uh, a little bit of a band that runs along the blade to keep you from getting cut, supposedly. I guess it's good for new users, um, so I don't know, but I have no experience with those. Also today, um, I recently ordered some bar soap from Soap Commander, which I just love that name, and Darren was gracious enough to send me a bunch of stuff in addition. But first of all, in my shower today, I use this Wisdom bar soap, and... Um, I really like it. I ordered five different bars. I think he has six varieties. I only ordered five. But really nice stuff. Um, and so I'm, I'm loving that. And just here you go. This is Darren. Um, his information is Soap Commander USA and SoapCommander.com. And um, nice uh, handwritten note on the back from him and his wife, Carrie. Um, really great service. You know, we say that a lot. And we've talked about it. But um, I like to mention or recognize good service. So I'm using the Wisdom Shave Soap. He sent me a sample and i um, really liking it. It's a small little puck that he sent me. I put it in a little bowl here um, and I lathered that up with my Omega bore brush, which I used in my last video. You can see it there. Lathers up really well um, and I just put a little bit of uh, glycerin and with that, that's my newest thing, to build a ladder. So I've just come from the shower, 
Um, just going to wet my face here. I've got my, again, my G12 scuttle. Um, and I got my lather built up here nicely. So I'm just going to throw a little bit of water on my face and I'm going to shave with this feather um, with the wood scales and the super pro blades and see how that thing goes. Should be interesting. Just going to wet my face here. And hopefully, um, you know, I didn't let it dry for too long when I came out of the shower. But we'll see how it's going to go. And by the way, if you're hearing that uh, sort of a humming sound in the background, that's the fan in the bathroom. Um, I apologize for that. But it's in all my other videos, and I guess that's just how it goes. I really like the soap. It's it's minty. It's got some menthol in it, and I really like it a lot. Uh, good lather, good cushion, easy to lather. Seems to last a long time too. Getting a lot of mileage out of this little sample that uh, that Darren sent me. So. Now I'm going to do a head shave after with my. Um, head blade low. I'm going to start to try to shave my head with a uh, with a regular straight or a chevette. Probably with the chevette um, or shavette if you like. Apparently the Franz seems to think that chevette is a car and uh, what can I say? You say potato and I asked Dan Quayle how to spell potato but that's a different story. Let's rinse this hand off here. Gonna dry this hand off here. Got to get rid of this one. I'm getting my razors confused. I want to get rid of that one. Um, get a little alum going on the opposite hand. And we are going to see about shaving with this super, super sharp blade. This should be fun. This is for you, Dave. One thing I noticed in other people's videos, they tend to use longer strokes, and I just, for whatever reason, I just can't do it with a DE or a straight, so bear with me on that. I just always use very short strokes, and I don't know why. I gotta tell you that right now it feels like this blade is not working as efficiently as the um, pros that I've used before. So we'll see how the shave goes, but uh, it feels like it's tugging a little bit actually, like a straight that needs to be stropped. But it also seems to be doing a good job at removing the hair on my face. I've got about two days growth here. I think the tugging is a result of uh, less than ideal prep in terms of letting my face dry a little bit after the shower and then putting water on there. It's not the same as shaving when you first come out of the shower. So I think that's why I'm getting that tugginess. Again, if you want to uh, hear more about the differences between uh, this and the other razor with the with the bevel in it, um, feel free to take a look at Paul Bombino's video. Um, you can find him on YouTube, and he really explains the differences and shapes half his face with this and half his face with the other, um, and you can hear more about that there. Get a little Alan going on the other side here.
Yeah, like I said, it, it, it felt a little tuggy. I think that was my on my end, but it feels pretty good on this side, and I think it's doing a great job. I think this will be a one-pass shave here, too. I really prefer the one-pass. Less irritation, less chance of irritation. I'm not trying to get as close as I possibly can, smooth as a baby's butt. Sometimes it's nice to get that, but um, sometimes I cause irritation, or you can cause irritation when you do that, so you have to kind of balance it out. You're going to shave again before you know it anyway, so that's a personal choice, but I, I don't go crazy over that, and I, I mean, maybe two, two and a half passes, but some people go three, four, and if it works for you, fine. Uh, I just read recently an interesting article that said that shaving with a multi-blade uh, cartridge razor, for example, with five blades, is the equivalent of shaving five times or doing five passes uh, with a safety razor, so that's food for thought. I always miss a little bit up there. I have to be careful by the ear, so I spend a little bit of time on that. This thing really is, is feeling very comfortable, I gotta say. The super blade doesn't feel um, more aggressive, so that's good. The thing about these feather blades is, for me, I can get 15, 20 shaves easily. From a blade, and even though they're fairly expensive, um, about a dollar a piece or so, a little bit more maybe, depending on where you buy it. I found the straight razor designs is generally cheaper on these blades than anybody else, and I don't know why, but um, go ahead and get them there if you want to. probably have to clean up always around the mustache so I'll come back probably and clean that up after I rinse off and check out my face I notice some people when they shave they don't do a whole lot of skin stretching especially on the neck if that works for you fine but I find that I have to really go out of my way to flatten all these different areas and move them in different directions um, to get a good flat area to shave. So, um, you know, I spend a lot of time doing that. I notice some people just move the razor along and it takes off the hair and they're on their way. But I can't seem to do that, especially when going from cheek to neck to chin and all that stuff. I have to keep moving things around. One thing about these feathers, Anthony Esposito mentioned it too in his first time using it. He's an avid straight razor shaver. Um, and he said that you can't even feel this blade and there's very little feedback and that bothered him. And that I mentioned that because when I first started shaving with these things, I would apply more pressure since I didn't feel it. And that was guaranteed to, at a minimum, cause irritation and generally also cause cuts. Um, so you have to, with these things, you have to barely apply any pressure. Um, and just let the razor do the work and you'll feel it afterwards. But it's kind of strange because you don't get a lot of feedback. You don't know that you're taking off the hair. You think it may not be, but in fact, it's doing a great job. I just have my, my chin is always difficult for me, so I'm going to try to do the best I can here. Lather is probably dried a little bit too, but that's okay. I'm not working this week, so I'm going to get what they call a socially acceptable shave. Even much better than that, but I'm not worried about it being perfect, even for work.
Yep, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to rinse and see where I'm at. I probably have to go over all this area here, but that's just how it is with me. I'd rather do that um, than try to get it you know, as close as I can the first time and cause some irritation. So I kind of take it easy there. As usual, it's, it's really nice on the cheeks. Just a few areas under the nose that need to be touched up. And then, of course, all this down here. And it's not because, actually, I, I said I go easy. What I should have really said was I'm going kind of, you know, with the grain less aggressively and then, um, you know, either across or against a combination of both on the next try. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll just go ahead and get my whole face while I'm here. Really liking this soap. Um, I had so many, and I really don't want to sell any, or you know, sell them off or whatever, or trade them. But I mean, I'm never going to use them. It's nuts. And every time I get a new one, I say, "Wow, I like this one. This is my new favorite." And <laughs> Darren, this is my new favorite right now. So there you go. And he also sent me the aftershave, which I'll use after. And that is just really, really nice. The aftershave balm, I like it a lot. And I love my auto shaving sandalwood aftershave balm. But boy, Darren, I'll tell you, this stuff is nice. The auto shaving is nice, but it, it's a little bit thick and dry. Other people have commented on that. And his stuff is much uh, more moist, if you will. A little bit more creamy. Um, and the auto shaving stuff is nice. But I, I really like this stuff from Darren too. So let's go ahead and get this final pass going here. And um, let's see what we can do. It's kind of hard to go across when your ear is there. So I go across mostly, but from the earlobe, bottom of the earlobe up, I tend to just go down. And I don't, I don't shave uh, up from south to north generally ever. I've tried it once in a while. It causes <coughs> a lot of irritation. I see other guys do it, and hey, if it works for you, you can do it. But it cringes. It, it makes me cringe just to watch somebody else do it. There's no way I'm going to shave from south to north. Uh, but that's just me. Yeah, these these blades are really nice and I like the weight on this razor a whole lot. Um, it does make a big difference. I mean, I can use the Dovo, which is just as light as a feather. I can use my uh, feather folding with the plastic scales, Artist Club uh, SS, which is great. It's also fairly light, but it's much, much heavier than the Dovo. And then this thing here is even heavier, um, which is kind of nice. <laughs> interesting when I got this razor a lot of people said hey that's really nice I'd like to get it or thanks for getting it so I didn't spend the money kind of funny I, I um it was a lot of money but um, hopefully it's gonna stay with me for a while because if not <laughs> there's other people that'll jump right on it It's nice when nobody's home. I don't have anywhere to be in a hurry. And I can take as much time as I want. As far as the video goes, I can just chop that right down. But um, 
when I when I feel like I have to rush, even if I don't have to rush, boy, it, it just doesn't go well, guaranteed. Especially with one of these guys, with a DE, um, which I don't use at all. You can be a little sloppy and be in a hurry and stuff for the most part, but with this thing, boy, you get cut and then you have to look at it all day, which I hate. I don't want to see marks on my face, so. Especially even if I don't cut myself, if I cause irritation, you can see that too. And then you get some razor burn. One thing I will say, even though I keep talking about cutting my ear a lot in all my videos, it's a lot harder to do with this thing. With a straight razor, it's very easy to do that. And it's frustrating because it takes a while for that thing to heal up. And then every other time you shave, you got to really be careful not to cut it again. But I can't say enough about the Chevette. And I'm going to say Chevette to the end in general. That Dovo, the shave you get from that thing, once you learn how to use it, is just super close, super fast, and I, I think it's the best shave you can get with that with the Chevette. And certainly with the Dovo, it's a fantastic shave. They're not very expensive, and I, I just can't even believe how close that shave is. If I if I do a two pass shave with that Dovo, that thing will last me two days, and I have a pretty thick beard. It's like in the first day when you wake up the next day, you can't even tell that you haven't shaved. It's that good. I would describe these blades as smooth in the same way that to me they are in the DE in that you don't really feel any irritation and it just moves along your face. Smooth. That's how I would characterize them. What I mean by that is when I get to an area where I'd normally feel some tugging or pulling on my face, um, I don't feel it as much with, with a feather blade, whether it's a DE feather uh, blade in a DE or uh, in this thing. So that's what I mean by smooth. And actually, it feels pretty good. I've, I'm satisfied with that. For some reason, this area here on the side of my mustache. It's always, you can feel it if you rub in a certain direction. And so one time I tried recently to go completely the opposite, you know, against the grain. And whew, that did not work out. One or two little strokes, it was pulling. I had a couple of tiny little nicks that you could barely see. And I guess I'm going to have to accept um, a little bit in that area if I rub it in a certain direction. That's just going to bug me, and there's nothing I can do about that. So that takes care of that. Again, um, I, I hate to belabor it, but I wanted to show you. This is the Feather Artist Club folding style that we all know with the black plastic scales. <coughs> and you can see that area there. And it's got that bevel to it. And then we've got this one, which I think is called a DX. I've also heard RG, so I don't know. Um, and you can see that it's completely smooth along there. And then you can also see that, um, like I said, it says SUS316 on there. You can probably find this in the Teakwood version on Amazon or anywhere else just to get some idea of the specs. Um, and there's that there. I also found with this one, I don't know if it's because it's been sort of broken in or what, but it's much easier to change the blade in that when I squeeze it here, it opens right up. On my other one, I have to really squeeze hard and it barely opens up at all to get the blade in there. So it may be just broken in, I don't know. Um, but that's that. So uh, I'm going to. Uh, not uh, well. I'll I'll get my 
alum going here just to see what kind of feedback we have. And um, a lot of guys use witch hazel, and I just, the alum works for me, so I'll use it. And we've got just a little bit of feedback from the alum in some areas. Nothing too terrible. I'll, I'll take that because I did go two passes. and um, I would expect to get something on my own face with two passes, so that's fine. No cuts, no nicks, no weepers, no blood. I'll rinse this stuff off, and um, I'm going to put on this Wisdom aftershave bomb sample that I got from Darren, and boy, it's running out fast, so I'm going to need to place an order post-haste. Maybe get some shaving soap as well. Again, that was the um, Wisdom shaving soap. Oh, that's the wrong side. There you go. There's that. And um, there's the ingredients. You can go right to Soap Commander. Go to the website and get more information on that. I can't say enough about the service. Certainly not, they're not the um, only people that have good service, but I like to mention that because there aren't too many um, that really recognize you as an individual. And it's nice to support a small business. Um, so I'll throw this bomb on. You watch Seinfeld at all, you know about the bomb. Who told you to put the bomb on? Old Jackie Childs for you. And if you don't know that, well, you need to go look it up. That's all I have to say about that. So let's get some of this bomb going on the face. Then I'm going to shave my head um, off camera. How much of this I got left? I've been using it like crazy. There we go. So you can see it a little on each side of my face here, and it's just nice and creamy. It's, it's minty. It's menthol. And I like it. Kind of wakes you up a little bit. Well, I don't want to rub that on my head, but I've got to stop this camera. Well, thanks for watching. Again, uh, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them below. You can also um, send me an email at ronnie13211 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.